Good morning. I'm Jamshid Baig, known as JB the Adventurer, a solo traveler and a travel blogger from Manchester, England with over 30 years of travel experience. In today's adventure, we are going to visit the Church of Holy Road of Stirling, and I'm going to tell you really interesting facts about this incredibly beautiful and historic place. Church of Holy Road is the medieval parish church of Stirling, Scotland. It is named after the Holy Road, a relic of true cross of which Jesus was crucified. The Holy Road is a Christian relic alleged to be part of the true cross on which Jesus died. The word derives from the old English rood meaning a pole and the cross. Several relics venerated as part of the true cross are known by this name in England, Ireland and Scotland. The church was founded in 1129 during the reign of King David the 1st, but nothing of this early structure now remains due to a fire in 1405. The fine parish church of the Holy Road at Stirling was built in 1500 to replace the church of St Modan which had been burnt down. It is about 200 feet long but is sadly made internally by a wall which screens off the western part of the building. The earliest part of the present church dated from the 15th century. As such it is the second oldest building in Stirling after Stirling Castle parts of which date from the late 14th century the chancel and tower were added in the 16th century Stirling Castle has long been a favored residence of the Scottish monarchs and was developed as a renaissance palace during the reign of the later Stuart kings The church of the Holy Road adjacent to the castle became similarly associated with the monarchy hosting royal baptism and coronations. It is one of the three churches still in use in Britain that have been the site of coronations. Construction on the new building had begun by 1414 and based on the evidence of carved Heraldry it was completed between 1440 and 1480. King James VI was crowned King of Scots in this church on 29th of July 1567. Adam Bothwell, Bishop of Orkney, performed the ceremony. It is alleged that in the siege of Stirling Castle in 1651 by General Monk during the wars of three kingdoms the church and churchyard suffered damage from musket shots which is still visible however all damage is opposite the south rampart of stirling castle and as damage clusters around the slot windows it is clearly just a game of soldiers firing from the castle to get the musket ball through the slot Church has a historic churchyard lying primarily to the west and northwest of the church with the stones date from 16th century. The churchyard was extended in 1851 creating the fascinating valley cemetery to the north divided from the old cemetery by only a path. This contains a series of statues by Alexandro Handyside Ritchie to figures of the Reformation. The old graveyard contains a unique stone with a carved depiction of body snatching marking the theft of Mary Stevenson's by James McNab, the local grave digger who had buried her 2 days earlier on 16th November 1822. aided by a friend Daniel Mitchell The body was passed to John Forrest for dissection 
the two men were caught but released due to legal technicalities and a riot ensued. Mary's body was reburied and the stone carved to mark the strange event. Although the record shows there were other buried sites in Stirling, the area around the church was the main burial place until the 1850s. Gravestones are in rows and burials lies facing the east ready for resurrection at the last tomb. The area on the north side of the church was unfashionable. Poorer people were buried here and did not have gravestones. From the last 16th century gravestones in the kick yard became fashionable. The oldest stone identified has a date 1579. Exploring the world and sharing these exciting adventures with you is a passion of mine. Be a part of my passion by hitting the like button and share this video as much as possible. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future adventures. Take only memories, leave only footprints. See you next week with a new adventure. Ciao.